So it's running off a Raspberry Pi. And it has some neat hardware features. Some of this is stock, some of it isn't. Uh, I'm running a, a Bowden setup here, which I feel is going to provide a faster print once I get it tuned. And I've added this brush so it cleans itself. And eh, some other stuff we'll talk about later. So let's um, demonstrate how it prints. Uh, you just load a file onto it and hit print and off it goes. You don't have to do any of the um, Z-level calibration, bed calibration, any of that stuff. It just, um, you know, handles all that for you. So initially it's going to scrub the brush and wait for the bed to heat up. Right? And once the bed is sufficiently hot and it's stable, then it does a calibration of the gantry, which is a unique feature of this one. It's actually going to move this flying gantry, the corners of it, up and down to make it level with the bed. So this process just probes the corners and then iteratively adjusts the gantry until it is square with the bed, which takes um, uh, maybe like a minute or so, I think which is like a small fraction of a normal 3D print, which would take like 30 minutes or more. But it's so worth it because this is the step that you'd usually have to do by hand every time, but it does it perfectly and automatically. And then we wait for this. I have it on the floor right now because I'm trying to avoid any extra vibration. So if it's sitting on a desk, the desk might vibrate a little as it moves. This is a nice stable work platform. All right, so what it's doing right now is rehoming the Z-axis to make sure it's accurate. And now it's doing a bed mesh. So it's gonna probe nine points on the bed and the difference between this and the previous one is that it's actually trying to find deformations in the bed at temperature. Uh, while it's doing this, it's actually heating up the hot end as well, just to save a bit of time. Um, at least that's the way I've got it configured. And then the, uh, the next step is going to be to wipe the nozzle off automatically. So I'll let this finish. So you see the nozzle is heating up. All right, off it goes. Wipey, wipey. Yeah, brushy, brushy. That's gonna extrude a bit of filament and do more brushing. Uh, after that, it will make sure the nozzle is clean and then touch the nozzle to the Z-homing sensor to um, finalize the Z-height. It's just waiting for the extruder to finish heating up properly. Extruding a bit of plastic. And clicky clicky. All right, so now the one thing I haven't tuned on this printer yet is the extrusion. So it doesn't actually extrude any plastic at first, 
but eventually starts coming down. It's actually um, tuned correctly for Z, of course, due to all that leveling, but the, uh, the extrusion is not tuned. I'm going to be switching material from PLA, which is what uh, the spool is over here, over to ABS or ASA pretty soon tonight, and uh, print, test prints and tune that. And I think we've got a good first layer coming down. Just to show you what it's been doing, I'm going to cancel the print, which I've set up to actually go and clean the nozzle off as well. So the nozzle is clean before and after the print automatically. I mean, the cool thing about this is I haven't had to do anything except tell it to print, and then it goes off and prints. So yeah, the stringing here is from the extruder not being tuned, but if you look, it's super accurate. Look at that. And this is using a 0.8 millimeter nozzle, so it can print like twice as fast as a 0.4. All right, I'll send more updates later.